Hey guys, welcome to vlog seven. This week I'm going to be interviewing a really good friend of mine. His name is Ben Strickland. Ben, how you doing today, bud? I'm doing good, thanks for having me. Okay, so what I wanted to talk to you about today was a little place in the top right corner of Florida called Warren Willis. Both of us know this very well. Would you tell me a little bit about Warren Willis? Warren Willis is a United Methodist camp for children. Um, they've also branched out recently. They've um, bought the conference center right across the street. Um, it's been open since 1948. Uh, for me specifically, that's really important because ever since they've opened, there's been someone in my family that has worked at this camp. So my grandma, my grandfather went there, my father went there, my mother, so many people. It, it's such an important place for me that it like, I worked there for two years and it felt like a necessity for me as a family member to work there. So, fun fact about Warren Willis is we actually met there, didn't we? Oh yeah. It was last summer, um, I was working support staff and you were your super senior year going into college and the fact that we connected because of you were going about lots of state. It's like, hey, I'm on the seed there. Like, let's, let's link up. Not to mention that we're both mass media majors, so that was a great help too. I remember that conversation. It's like, oh, you're going to this college? Yeah, oh shoot, me too. What's your major? This. Oh, <laughs> yo, that's sick. So what was one of your favorite memories from camp? It's so hard to pick one specific memory. That's my favorite at camp. But one that I can talk about and you'll experience this when you become a counselor is after you spend two months with all these kids pouring into these kids' lives and just praying, hoping and praying to God that you have an impact on them after the week, that once you get to that that last that last worship, my, my favorite last worship was, um, it was high school. Jake Tonsky was the tech coordinator and he, his like thing was lighting. He was really good with lights. So he had, he set up this laser, laser light show for worship in the chapel. Oh my God, so beautiful. It was so good, so well done. Um, and it, it was one of those like, you just stop, you take it all in and you absorb just how, how meaningful the past summer was. So that was probably one of my favorite memories. I wanna shift gears a little bit. Talk to me about Freedom Friday, the week I was at camp. What happened there? So I was support staff. I didn't really interact with um, campers and cabins as much as regular counselors do because I had other responsibilities. But I remember I was in the the fellowship hall when y'all were in there for something, and I was setting up. I think I was checking stuff out. A, making sure everything was ready for um, praise time so I can record. And just out of the blue, I hear this harmonious singing of the national anthem. I'm like, hold on. Did, did someone just let in a, a, a barbershop quartet on camp? And I asked you later on, like, do you have any like choir experience? Do you have any like the church choir? Or were you out in school? Nothing. I'm like, yo, where, what? Where'd this come from? Um, it was the first year that my parents let us go to camp, and I knew it was it. I didn't understand how big it was until the Sunday before we left. Um, my parents stood up in church during um, a, a call, like calling for prayers, prayers of worship, and stuff like that. It was like one of the two times. My, my mom and dad stood up to offer prayer um, requests and they talked about sending us to camp. Um, at that moment, I'm like, oh, so this is big. This is important. So it's that, that family aspect to me. Uh, it just, it's always been, ever since then, that's what made camp important. Yeah, man. Thank you for being a part of my vlog. I appreciate you being a part of my life. Thank you for letting me into your life. All right, guys. So with that, I'm going to sign off right here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.